everyone, Brick Creations here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to build these kinds of trees. So in essence, they use the same kind of building techniques using the same parts and pieces generally, um, but the good thing about this technique is you can use it with any size, whether that be a small one like there or a large tree like this one. Now I have used all kinds of these trees in my mocks, for example, the largest one has been used in my indoor mock, uh, whereas the ones in the middles are used in my aerobore mock. So it's a very simple technique and I'd like to show it to you guys. So before we get started, I just want to show you guys what each of these four trees looks like in a little bit more detail. So this is going to be the smallest tree and it uses a very small amount of parts. We'll go into more detail on how I built these, um, but you can just see that it's really just one of these bendable pieces um, right here. I'm sorry, I don't know the name for them. And then just using the smaller leaves instead of um, more of the bigger leaves. And I think it turns out quite nice if you have a smaller mock or if you just have something that's not as much of a forest, but you do want to have some plant life. All right, so next up we have the two medium sized trees, which I would assume that most people would use in their mocks. They're the most um, realistic in terms of scale to minifigures. They're slightly easier to build than the larger ones. They require less pieces and all of that. Um, but for the most part, these two trees use the same type of construction. Obviously, I'll go into more detail in a little bit. Um, but I just want to show you both of them because they do have the same trunk size, though one can look much bigger than the other. And you can see, while well, the one on the right does have a little bit more of a pine tree slope look, whereas the other one is a little bit more flat. And uh, just to show you guys that these kind of looks can be achieved using the same type of pieces. So this tree is pretty much built exactly the same as the medium sized trees. The only difference is obviously going to be its size and that's going to be because of the trunk. So if you realize the other ones are using two by two round bricks, whereas this one is using, well, what would be equivalent to a four by four base. And that's going to have been built using snot techniques. If you don't know what snot is, that means studs not on top meaning I used modified bricks and I put plates on the side and to give that effect. Now, like I said, the leaves are built in the exact same way as the other ones, so nothing special there. So here we are, we're gonna start off with the smallest tree. Now you guys may have already guessed how to build this from its design. It is, um, it's fairly obvious, but for those of you that need a little bit more clarification, this is how you do it. These are the pieces that you will need. You can see it is not parts intensive in any way. You will need one of these pieces. Um, it's a bendable tube, I believe it's called. I'm sorry, I don't know the very technical term for it. Um, but it's very nice because you can bend it in any way and you can have it look like it's a little bit of a leaning tree or you can do something more like this to give it some weird design. Um, but that is the trunk of the tree. Now what you're gonna have to start with is putting the smaller branches on first and uh, you're gonna bring them about three quarters the way up. And this is kind of how I do. Obviously these can all come on whichever kind of fashion you want to, but for the most part, there is uh, these first two leaves. Then you take one larger leaf, um, but you wanna leave a little bit of a gap like that. And then you're going to want to put another large leaf up top. Now you can use whatever colors you want, this is not restricted to these colors. You can use it however you want. This is merely just the design. And then I usually top it off like that. You can see I don't even need this. And if I wanted to, I could have. But there is the first tree. And you can see it's very easy to make. Um, all of them can turn out differently. You can put different colors. You can put three large leaves instead of two, but that is how you build the smallest tree. So as this is the design that people will most likely be using most often, I took the extra step and separated the pieces into which ones are pretty much compulsory and you can't build without them versus which ones are optional and would help the tree if you had those pieces. So that's what I went ahead and did. On this side, we have the pieces that are necessary. This is going to be the two by two round brick or a log piece as people might call it. And this is going to be the trunk for the tree. You really can't do anything else besides this. If you want, you can use a standard two by two brick. However, I feel um, the round brick gives a more of a natural 
curved tree shape. You will also obviously need some leaves and I would recommend if you have the choice between these and these, go ahead with these and these can be a little bit of an additional add on. So as those are the necessary pieces, I guess I could put this over here because most people who have leaves will have a little bit of a mix of both so it's okay to use both of them. This piece is a little bit funny and it is quite fun to use if you have them. Now what this, how this works is basically you will stack them on a log like this in the trunk and then you will use these, um, I'm sorry, these little bar pieces I guess you'd call them and you will hook on the leaves like that. Now if you do have these pieces then great but it is in no means necessary. I hardly ever use it personally because I don't prefer it, but that's not to say that it is bad in any way. So that's what that piece is. And then another piece similar to this is going to be a two by two round plate. Um, this is merely just going to be for having different intervals because in between all of the leaves, you're going to have one, um, one stud difference. And if you want, you can have only a plate difference it depends how dense you want your leaves to be which is why i put these now the last thing is probably going to be the most optional and you in no means need it now it doesn't matter what the color is but you're probably going to need some bendable tubes or the bar pieces um the ones that minifigures usually use for staffs and things like that um but yes, this piece is going to be the most necessary. Sorry, it won't focus very well. Um, but this is the same bendable piece. This one is slightly longer, it's in black. You will never see these, so it really doesn't matter what color. They could be yellow, red, black, it does not matter. Now, what you will need these pieces for is going to be for inside the trunk. So, for example, if this is your tree trunk, um, you will most likely need this inside for structural reasons. Now, what happens is inside these bricks, there is the holes, and this is going to be an axle hole as opposed to just an open hole, so there will be more friction as it goes in, so it will hold in very tight. Now, the reason why you will need these is because, for example, if you have this tree and you accidentally hit it, it will break in half, and Trust me, I've done it a million times. You do not want to accidentally knock over your trees and then have to rebuild all of the leaves because it breaks. So it's if you can have these and put them inside and basically stack the bricks, it will make sure that if, if the tree trunk breaks, it will only happen like that and it won't actually fall over. So that's more of a safety precaution. So for the sake of not taking too much of anyone's time, I'm going to skip using the bendable tubes, even though I have them for structural reasons, I'm just gonna go straight ahead and build the trunk. Now, what I wanna do is, this is in my opinion, I like to start the branches or the leaves at about two to three sizes of a minifigure, so about that height. Now, in order to get a nice slope effect that a tree has um, where it's very wide at the base, and then gradually grow smaller, you're going to have to use more leaves attaching to the, to the trunk. So this is the kind of technique that I use. Um, I attach a corner of every leaf to the branch, uh, to, the, to the trunk, sorry. And then I add a second log piece on top of it. And then there we go, that is the first layer. All right, and so then... I have finished filling in the first row of branches and leaves. And this is what it looks like. And I think a key pointer to watch out for is not to do it symmetrical or neat. You do not want to have an orderly kind of tree or else it won't look that natural. What you want to do is stack them in a very random fashion, kind of like this, while still keeping a circular shape. Now, when I move on to the next row of leaves, I want to keep the same four, uh, four leaf design going on for about three to four layers up. Now what I mean by that is you can see here that I'm doing the four leaves like that and then I stack a log piece on top of it. You want to do this three or four times um, because eventually you will get you will start to get a little bit smaller. So just do this thing like that. Okay so I've done two more 
layers like that you can see there and you will fill those in in a little bit um, but just for the sake of this I want to kind of get this done a little bit quickly so the in order to get a little bit smaller every few increments um, you're going to want to start using two as opposed to three um, like this uh, this is kind of how I do it I think it turns out well you can see how I use the two trees so you can see how on these leaves there are four and on these ones there are two. Um, that's how you're going to start getting a little bit smaller. I know it's at the same width, but trust me, it does work out. Um, in order to fill in these spots, because you can see here and here there are no leaves, in order to make it feel a little bit more filled up, you do the same thing, but you do it facing different directions. So, same design. And the same routine, you want to do that about two to three times. I've already done it twice, so I'm going to keep it at this. There we go. Now, the next one, you can start doing like this. You're only going to want to use one leaf as opposed to now doing two. So these ones are very simple. You just put it straight on in the middle, and you're going to want to stack. Now, you can see here that I do have that slope shape to it um but i haven't filled in any of these leaves if you want you could leave it as just the um, initial branches or leaves like here or you can do as i did on the bottoms and fill in the whole thing which is what i would typically do to all my leaves and of course if you do have some of these pieces in the places where there are gaps showing you can use the smaller leaves to fill in especially towards the top i think um, at the top you don't want to be using larger leaves to fill in the gaps because it will make it too wide if you want to add things like this you could but for the most part that is how you make this type of tree so now i'm going to try and recreate the same type of tree using um, different types of pieces now these ones will require more pieces but if you have them you can use them of course now this is going to be using this piece as i spoke about earlier here it is and using the four bars you're just going to want to stack them on like this and continue stacking like there so now it looks like it's small branches sticking out you're going to want to take them like this and i would bend them in a little bit um so that they're not sticking out really weirdly all right so now that i finished the first thing you can see that it does look possibly a little bit empty like this but don't worry if you use the same thing of filling in all of the gaps using more branches, it will work out, and this will just be repeated. All right, so here's the second branch done. Now, as you start to progress up, the same way you're going to want to start using only two leaves as opposed to four. As you go up, eventually you will have to forget about using these. Um, that's just how it is. You cannot use them because they're really not going to be useful because eventually you only need to be using one branch. Um, if you want, you can start only using the smaller leaves like this one. Okay, so there is the row of smaller leaves right there. And here you can now see how it's getting that same general slope effect as we go. And like I said earlier, using the smaller 2x2 two two round plates, instead of having a one brick increment, between all the leaves, you can start using these as you go towards the top if you want it to feel a little bit more dense, just like that. And there we go. It can turn out really well, such as this one. You can, um, actually, if I flip this one around like this, sorry for that lighting, you can see right here, sorry, you can see that I did use these pieces. But then as we move up to the top, you can possibly kind of see inside there sorry for that lighting wow and then you can see i stop right there and then from right here i am just using bricks okay so for the last large tree you can see like i said earlier that i did use the same technique for building it now i'm not sure if you can see that but the leaves are in between layers um, of bricks you can see right in there how they are built in and as it continues down because this is using snot techniques you can see that I did put some leaves on the plate straight on and I also attached 
this brick right here, which is an inverted slope. And the great thing about it is, well, I marked that off. Um, if you look at the back of it, you have the ability because of, because of this, the back of it is fixed like that. You can add a one by three plate to the back of it like that. And because it's using snot, you can just attach it straight on to there, which is what I love about this. Right, so as promised, this is what the inside of my snot tree looks like. I use these modified bricks to attach the plates on the side as such. And you can see that I just use these pieces. In fact, you could use whatever you want. They could be, you know, pink for all I care. You won't ever see them. Um, but you can see I also use these black pieces. Now, of course, one of the reasons for that is going to be to hold all the modified bricks together. But also because if you notice right here, if I push, there's a little bit of flex because there's nothing holding it. Uh, whereas when I push here, there isn't. That's in order to give more of a solid, um, a solid thick shape to the whole tree. It gives some structure within the tree. Finally, I just want to show what one of the side panels of the tree looks like. It's a very simple build, but here's a better look at it. You can see I just use four by something plates, and then in here I use two by something plates, and I think that gives a good enough of a curved shape. Now you can obviously go ahead and add much more detail by putting a little bit of tiling and maybe some some foliage and stuff like that to cover up the plates if you think it looks a little bit too boring. Lastly, I quickly want to mention the base of a tree because that can be fairly important. If you do look at the bottom of the tree, especially for bigger trees in real life, there are pretty big roots and they kind of spread out to the side. They don't just go straight down. This possibly looks a little bit unrealistic. So if you want to go the extra mile and add just a little bit of detail, what you can use is some reddish brown slopes. And this is usually what I go with. It just adds a tiny bit more detail to it. It makes it look a little bit better. All right, so that wraps up this tutorial on how to build these types of trees. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I hope that it helped out everyone. Anyone who uh, was struggling on how to build a decent looking tree, getting the slope right, anything like that. I hope this video covered it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification for all of my new videos. Give it a like down below and comment on what you think. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.